What is going on guys? I'm having a great day. Today we're doing something different today and if y'all can see I got my boy Paul here with yes, me. Yes sir. Where you been man? Man, I've been chilling man. I hear you, but he's I've getting chilling. He's getting back into it y'all. So we had an idea today. We're just sitting at the house and we thought about something y'all. So many people do this and I actually wanted to give it a try because I actually have one locally around me. So right now we're in the middle of the woods, literally in the middle of nowhere and we have a small creek right in front of us. Down there too. It, it goes for miles y'all. So yeah. There's some little baby fish in here. I haven't been here in about two years. Last time I see I think they're called creek chubs. But there could be all different types of species in here. So we got these small little ultra lights. Show them yours. Y'all did that review on that rod and I got my little ice fishing pole. So I don't know what these fish eat y'all. So I have these little baby hooks. So these fish are gonna be probably pretty small. And I just brought some little pieces of bread. But I figured we'd drop in front of their face. They might eat it. But the whole goal right now is that we've located the little creek here. And yeah. it's, a, it's a little creek y'all. We're going to have to walk a good ways to try to find the bigger body of water where it opens up a little bit more because that should hold some more fish. So, you ready to do this, man? Oh, yeah. You think this is going to work? Yes. All right, we're going to give guys, it Guys, I will be real back. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, me and Peter will be slaying some more bass really soon this winter. So, you guys, please go check out my channel. I haven't posted in probably about five months. I've been trying to make money working you guys feel me working but it's this man been been slaying the videos back to back so you guys please subscribe to his channel please 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 you've been working Peter. three times three times you've been working man. he said it y'all we're about to get to this video like i said it's gonna be hard but i hope you guys enjoy this type of content because i never done this before so we're gonna get to this video like i said i don't know if this is gonna work we're gonna give it all we got I hope y'all enjoy it and we see some fish in it. I don't know what type they are. They're about, what do you think, Paul? Like three inches? Yeah, about three to four inches. Three to four inches, y'all. It's big enough to eat our, our bait, so we're gonna try to sneak up on them and see if we can catch them. All right, y'all, so that's a little creek right there, and that's the deep pool. So we're gonna try to go from that side over there and try to fish down. What's gonna get us is I'm noticing these fish are super spooky. No one's really walking in the woods when they're living in their environment, so should have brought the bigger ultra lights so we can kind of dangle it further down, but Paul should have a better chance, I think. He's got a little bit longer rod, so we'll see if his works a little bit better than mine y'all but we're gonna try to see what we can do here let's get baited up and get out there i see one right there it looks like a baby bass dude Absolutely. it really does this size hook i'm gonna be using it's pretty small but these dudes are really small so let's hope this works but i'm gonna bait up right here pinch that thing on see what we can do oh, got one. you really just got one, got one. dude first cast <laughs> oh my god no way yo dude, that's a creek chub it is yeah it's a creek chub man First cast. Look, so it's normally they have these little spikes on top of their head. Dude, dude that's insane, dude. That's awesome. Is, first that cast. That was fast, man. That's such a pretty fish. But yeah, guys, I just first cast. I just caught this little thing right here. My first time. Oh, no, we gotta show, we gotta show this. You two, what I caught. Look at that thing right there. That's in crazy, a little man. creek, in a little, a little creek just like that. That's crazy. First cast. All right, y'all, we're gonna go for the lease now. Let this yeah. beautiful fish go. First cast. It's crazy. There he goes. Give me some, man. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Let's see. I got one, dude. Oh, yes, sir. Dead. It's a little bit smaller, though. God, they're so pretty, man. Look at that thing. All right, y'all. That is my first fish. A little bit smaller than Paul's, but that was a great catch. I think these are baby creek chubs. They're so pretty though. It's an amazing little fish. I think these are sold guys in like different states. I know creek chubs are really good bait for bass, but it's so cool to be catching these little guys. They're so pretty. Let's get them back in the water. All right, I'm gonna put this little guy back. Good buddy. Fishing here for about 30 minutes. We caught two. Paul got one that was at least like what is like four inches? Yeah, about four. Yeah, mine was about like two and a half, three inches, y'all, but it was a great two little creek chubs. There's some baby ones still in the pool. When we first walked up, I saw some bigger ones though, and they kind of swam off underneath the roots. They won't come back out. You tell they're a little bit more spooky. So we're gonna walk down a little bit further so we can find another pool. And then if we don't find one, we'll come back here and those big ones should be back out. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. So we're walking further down. We're gonna try to see if I can remember when I used to be down here. That was one of the biggest pools that were here. There's a little baby one right there. 
There's tons of them in here, y'all. They'll be in these little creeks, but to get some of those bigger ones, they're trying to locate the deeper pools. So we're just gonna keep on walking, see if we can find one. Oh yeah, y'all, I think we're coming up to a bigger pool right now. All right, let's see. I think I see some in there. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get baited back up. I see some in front of me, but they're not too big. You got one, dude? <laughs> Paul's got one, y'all. Oh, dude, another pretty one. Y'all, yeah. look at that fish. All right, y'all, that's another beautiful little creek chub. So pretty, man. All right, y'all, he's going back. Bye, buddy. All right, y'all, I'm baited up. Let's go ahead and drop down. See some kind of tucked in this corner over here. He came out and destroyed that thing. Oh, I just, I just had one. He's eating it. Oh, dude, I got him. Oh, dude, nice. that, I saw him come out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw him come out and smack that thing. All right, y'all, I just caught my next fish. This is a little baby creek chub. What I'm starting to notice, y'all, that there's actually a ton in these little pools, but they sit in the roots, and you gotta just kinda pitch in it, and as it's dropping, this dude literally swam out, never even saw him. I saw one bigger than him, but he just came out and destroyed that. Not even any hesitation. It was just down the hatch. All right, y'all, we're gonna put him back in the water. Here he goes. See him going down the creek. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm having so much fun doing this right now. It's just insane to me how many little fish are just stuck in this little creek right here, and they just have to thrive and live to survive. So that's the size bread I'm using, y'all. I'm just using a super small piece, teeny tiny. But there is some bigger ones mixed down there, so I noticed the bigger ones don't even think twice. They'll just come in and inhale it. These little creek chubs actually have pretty big mouths. So that's the bait right there, y'all. Let's get back in the water. All right, y'all, we're gonna move spots now. We're gonna keep on walking down and see if we can find another spot. All right, y'all, we're at the next spot. I'm trying to talk quiet because this is where we spooked a lot of the big ones. This is probably the biggest pool that's in this little creek right here. So we're right in front of it. I'm gonna try to set up this camera. And we're gonna hit it hard. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's get it. Let's try it, guys, let's go. That one. That one? Yeah. The little guy. All right, guys, it's about 20 of these little guys. This was the biggest one that was big enough to like a hook. But man, it's crazy how you could catch a fish out of something like this. That's that's insane, man. But right now, we about to get some little rain, so hopefully these guys will have enough rain, enough water to swim to a bigger spot. Cause some of them, it's like trout in a big puddle. And I feel sorry for these little guys. I don't release this guy, but I'm not releasing right now. This is about 20 of them. But they really, really small. All right, y'all, starting to rain. I don't want this camera to get messed up, so we might take refuge for about a couple minutes whenever it stops. And then we're gonna come back out and hopefully these guys regroup. All right, y'all, so right now, it, the rain's still kind of, it's, it's coming down a little bit, but it's not too bad. I just don't want this camera to get ruined, but if I can remember a long time ago, y'all, and don't get me wrong, this has been about two, three years ago, I saw a puddle down there that was a little bit bigger, and that's what we really want to look for with these fish because they're all in these little creeks right here. They all use their little channels to get from puddle to puddle, but and the bigger the puddle, y'all, the, the deeper it is, the more fish is going to hold, and that's where some of these bigger ones are kind of thriving and living, so these fish are super aggressive. It doesn't really matter what size puddle they're in because they're living in a little creek, so let's walk down a little bit further so we can catch another one. All right, y'all, so right in there is another deep pool. And Paul just said he saw a pretty good sized one, so yeah. how, how big was he? Five inches. <sighs> Five inches, y'all, that's a giant. So we're gonna go ahead and set this camera up and see if we can get him. All right, y'all, I'm baited up, camera set up. Let's go in. I got him. Dude. <laughs> Let's go. Paul, get him. That's crazy. Yo, that dude freaking inhaled it. He got a pretty color on Y'all, I just caught that one. It, literally, it hit the water. Dude, I can, I can lip him, Paul. Look at this. Oh my look, dude, look at the size. Y'all, I want you to see this. Y'all, look at the size of his mouth. That's just insane to me. These dudes are so aggressive. Y'all, it's just another beautiful fish right here. We're gonna get him back in the water, but these dudes are so aggressive. This is insane. Watch this, guys. Paul's about to get one. I'm gonna let him go in there. I don't want to spook anymore. Bye, buddy. Got him. Dude, that one's pretty. All right, y'all, that's Paul's right there. He's about to get baited back up. Look at how pretty that little fish is. They look feisty. Another pretty fish. Dude, I can't hold these guys. They're so aggressive. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put him back in the water. Guys, I swear to you, the, this, the other one I seen right then, he was about seven inches, eight inches. That's giant, y'all. That's like insanely giant. All 
All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is my first time ever doing this, and I literally had a blast. I love catching all different types of species, if it's in a pond or a sewer. So to be able to come to this creek and catch all these little creek chubs, and knowing that there's so many fish thriving and living in these little bodies of water, and how aggressive they are towards this bread, and now that I know that they're gonna eat the bread, if y'all are gonna do this, I recommend I'm gonna come back out here and try the little Berkeley pellets, the little yellow and green ones, make pink ones, orange ones, they have all different types of colors. Little blood worms, honestly, probably be the best thing because that's the most lively thing to them. Little bugs, spiders, worms, anything around in the woods that drops in the water they're gonna attack. Paul, did you have a great time, man? Man, I had a blast, man. I won't expect to catch nothing out of this. Like, I looked at this water, I was like, it's nothing living in here. Mm -hmm. Then we first walked up, we seen stuff moving, jumping off. Well, we've seen frogs at first. Yeah, a so lot of frogs. We was thinking just gonna be a lot of frogs going up and down here, but we really seen fish in here. It was a, a, a plus, plus yeah. man, A plus. And if you guys enjoyed seeing these videos, all you have to do is comment down below, share this video, tell your friends, let, let me know if you want to see more, y'all, because I, I can't even explain to you how much fun I had out here today. I want to do this again, so please comment down below if you want to see this. If you enjoy the angles in this video, comment too, y'all, because that helps me out with support. For real. If you guys enjoyed seeing Paul in the videos, y'all comment down below because we're going to be fishing a lot more together. If you guys enjoyed seeing us use the small equipment, the light line, the small rods, y'all comment down below too because I want to. I love using this type of stuff. It's all finesse fishing, but we're going to wrap it up right here, y'all. If y'all haven't seen the videos right here, y'all give them a click, give them a share. Let me know what y'all thought about it. If you want to support me in the future, hit that subscribe button right here. I really appreciate it, guys. Litton Bass TV.